Hello folks, well here we are again with a little update for you on the uh, airbag trailer that we're working on. So we've, we're working principally off the fab plans, plans, but we do modify for custom requirements and that's what you're going to see here. So we've uh, lifted the trailer off the ground as you can see, we've got it square, we've welded it all up both sides and I'll walk you through the front now. What we've done here is just uh, set the height of this trailer. We haven't put the adjustable uh, tow hitch on here because this customer doesn't use it. He's had a number of trailers off us and this is what he wanted. Uh, we've uh, completely uh, finished all the welding on the top half of the trailer, including the addition of those gussets in the corner which we regularly put on. You'll note as we walk around that we've put all the drain and air holes in the top and bottom side of the material where it's uh, going to go into the galvanizers. You must have a place for the air to come out and the galvanizing material to go in. All of the holes that we're going to work with have been nicely cleaned up and rounded up and we've prepared uh, any other holes we need prior to galvanizing that will just be tapped later uh, for the covers to go on. We've added some motorcycle uh, staunchions onto this trailer just as we have with others and I'll show you in a moment uh, what pops in there. So we pop those on and then we cut a hole in the decking and I'll show you the decking in a moment so that you've got the option of carrying motorcycles on this trailer as well as anything else. Now the reason we've got this extra panel through here is that we have managed to secure a very large piece of the trailer decking that we use but even uh, the manufacturer won't cut it to the full length for us so we still end up a bit short and we've chosen to put the join at the front of the trailer rather than uh, multiple joins. So we've got a single sheet that is nearly four meters long that goes right down to the end of the trailer. In fact, there it is there. Uh, pretty cool stuff. It's uh, available in New Zealand called TransTech 200. It's a non-slip uh, uh, truck deck that's uh, often used. We Once we've cut the sides as we've done here, we'll paint that so that no water can ingress. It's very, very strong and that's going to sit uh, down the trailer uh, right to the end. So we've put a number of these on. We've put four on slightly offset So if you do put motorcycles on the handlebars are just going to sit behind each other and that should take four bikes easily But we can get more on uh, What we've done down the back here is uh, Again for this particular client. He wanted a lot of strength in the back. So we've added some value here uh, We've we're going to drop on a sheet because uh, the timber is going to come to here only and then this will be a sheet of uh, steel we're going to use this 3 mil core 10 and that's going to be bolted through uh, these uh, uh, little components we've put in here what we'll do is we'll drill those and tap them and we'll put stainless bolts through just to screw it down so this can be repaired if it has to be um, little tidying up points just where the step is that steel is going to come up to here we've just welded a little plate in there. So these things that you may or may not do, uh, we choose to do every little thing that we can to make it look really nice and finish well. Uh, then we go around the trailer and just check everything 10 times before we take it to the galvanizers because there's no going back from that. You don't want to be cutting things. Again, so what we've got to do next on this trailer is uh, build the suspension components which are going to be welded on here. And we've already cut the holes. That's for the air lines and the electrical fittings to come out of. We've got two of those of course. Uh, we'll cut those suspension components this week and we'll weld them up on the bench, we'll install them on here and we'll show you next how we line them up and how we get them square on the trailer. And once we've done that then we will work on the strong back. This trailer uh, is going to have a strong back on it so we'll build that from here up around about 150 mil. It'll run right down the length of the trailer. It might tie back to the suspension and that just takes any possibility of this trailer uh, bending in any way with a heavy load on it. And people do overload them. So most people with this 4mm and 5mm uh, material on the side would never need that strong back. But this particular customer puts tractors and God knows what on here and uh, they do get a hammering. Okay, that's all you're getting for now. I'll follow up uh, as soon as we can with uh, when we start putting more bits on.